what's going on guys? I'm Brad and this is Trail Recon and on this episode of Rig Walkarounds, man, we have got one really, really nicely built Jeep. It's called Reptilicon and its owner is Jeff. Jeff, come on over, buddy. Good morning, man. Good morning. Thanks for coming out today. I appreciate it, man. Dude, this is such a beautiful Jeep. I know we have a lot to talk about, but tell us, what kind of Jeep is this? It sort of has an 09 uh, Jeep Rubicon um, with a custom painted Synergy Green. Synergy Green is nice. Just something different than everybody else had. Yeah. Just stand, I like one thing that pops. Yeah, well, I, I was coming up behind you, man. I could see you from pretty far away when we caught up to you, so very cool. Well, let's talk about all the cool stuff you've got on here. What uh, what bumper you got? Uh, I'm running an All-American Off-Road uh, front bumper, the Defender. Man, you got a lot of goodies on here. Let's talk about some of those. What uh, what winch you running? Uh, the Warren uh, 9.5 Ti, uh, custom painted to match the rest of the Jeep. It's, uh, a synthetic line, Factor 55 powder coated green, monster hook with a Infinity uh, security locking things. Yeah, you know what? I like these things, man. These allow you to lock them up. People can't snag your stuff, right? I've had a lot of D-rings stolen over the years. Yeah. And then when I saw these, I was just a must-have. Yeah, and these are nice D-rings too, right? So we definitely don't want to lose those. Exactly. Cool. Uh, talk to me about your light setup, man. We've got a lot of lights here. Let's start at the top there. Uh, I, I have a 50, a 20, and a 10. They're all uh, rigid uh, radiance with a backlight of green. Okay. Um, it's their new technology that has their flood and combo in one light, so okay. it's a single row. Okay. It gives me enough light, I never have had a complaint about it. Yeah, no, uh, I bet you got a lot of light on there. Now, you can synchronize the backlighting or something? Um, I have every all my lights throughout the Jeep through the S-Pod. Okay, nice. Uh, what headlights are you running? These are cool. These are actually, are actually made by Truck Light uh, in 09. I've had a lot of this stuff in 09, and they, it was before Rigid actually bought them. Okay. And uh, these are ridges up here in the bumper as well? These are actually uh, GG lighting, regular pods. Nice, cool man, well it looks great. What uh, what hood you got here? It's a hood that I got a while back. The company went out of business, I can't recall the name. Well it looks good. It's, everyone likes it. If anyone out there makes that hood, it's a seller right there. Right, <laughs> and you got, uh, looks like the Drake off-road uh, off latches on here? Yep, just keeps everything secure, nothing rattles like those stock uh, JK. Well, it's a great looking hood and the latches are nice, but I know there's some really nice goodies under here. Let's pop the hood and take a look. All right, Jeff, tell us about all the goodies we got under here. All right, it's a stock motor, not really. It's an o it's a 09, so it ha it's a bigger motor, but less power. Okay. So I had to step up with the wheels, tires, I had to step it up to get a supercharger. It's a rip supercharger, all the intercooler pipings uh, powder coated green. Okay, cool. What else we got under here? I got two S-Pods. Dual S-Pod setup, that's unique. I've never seen that before. I can actually run, as the S-Pod right there, I can run 16 switches off the panel. Okay. Capable to be 32. Nice. With two more sources. Well, it looks good under here, man. Let's uh, let's go talk tires and suspension. Perfect. All right, Jeff, without a doubt, this is the tallest uh, Jeep we've had on rig walkarounds, man. Talk to me about your suspension. What's going on? It's a Rebel Off-Road uh, bolt-on coilover kit. It makes the Jeep sit about eight inches right here. Okay. It's a full adjustable to bring it down about, I could bring it down like a three and a half inch lift. Yeah. But just for clearance, why is everything? We want more clearance, better, right? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I'm running uh, the Terraflex long arm kit. Okay. Basically stock axles. I have re-geared to 513s. Okay. The Fox ATS uh, steering stabilizer up front. Uh, Anti-rocks for sway bar needs nice. on the road. Okay. Well, man, it's a it's a nice setup. How's it ride down the road? Perfect. Cool. I don't complain. All right. Well, talk to me about uh, your tires, man. What do you got? I got the new Nito uh, Ridge Grapplers, okay. 37s, 12 and a half, 17s. Yeah, how do you like them? Um, I really like them. The tread is aggressive for the dirt and it's quiet. Okay. So it's nice. an all around good tire. I had a, no problems with Nitos. Well, you got some really nice rims, man. Tell me about those. They're the Centerline RT, RT3s. They're custom. I had them painted to make it look like a simulated beard lock. Nice, well, they're great looking wheels. I love them. Talk to me about the fenders. What do you got? Oh, they're just the Poison Spider uh, steel fender. 
to got rid of those JK fenders right away. Yeah, I've still run them <laughs> on. I gotta chop mine out. You've got a really nice looking uh, rock slider. What do you got? Oh, they're made by Rock Slide Engineer. They're a full rock slider, but they also have a step integrated in them. Okay. For with the height, you need to need someone yeah, to yeah, help yeah. for the little lady. I'm six two, but that's a that's a tall climb to get up in this guy. Nice, yeah, helpful. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at the rear. All right, Jeff. Well, your rig looks really nice just from behind. What do we got going on back here, man? I got the All American Off Road bumpers with the integrated tire carrier. I had the separate ones. I like the integrated one better. Yeah, this thing is rock solid, and I like how you've got the green integrated in the paint here. That's really custom. Just one touch of everywhere. Yeah, nice. Uh, what, what do you got? You got more some rings back here. I stuff. got the Monster Hub D rings and then the Monster Shackle. Yeah, that shackle, man. That thing's a beast. I like that. Very uh, cool. With also the infinite security locks on all yeah. these. Nice. All the way around the Jeep. What uh, what lights we got? Uh, they're infrared car wear. Okay. Uh, as you know, stock taillights you can't see with the beans. So yeah. you got to step it up with some kind of aftermarket light. Right, right. And uh, you've relocated your uh, your license plate. Yeah, we relocated from the side, just to get it in the middle. Feels makes it look a little more cleaner, and it has a integrated uh, light. Okay. For the for to light up that license plate. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh, let's go take a look at the interior. Sounds good. All right, Jeff. I love how the color comes through in the interior as well. Tell me about what's going on in here. Uh, we first started with the matching uh, rock hard four x four cage, front to all the way to the rear. Okay. Uh, we matched the inside of the bezels. We then went to the aluminum. We went to aluminum AC vents. Oh, those are nice. I've never seen and those then before. They were powder, or cere coated to black to keep them in theme. Okay. What about the seats? What do you got? Uh, we got cat skin covers with uh, an integrated uh, alligator skin. Well, sure. Reptilicon's got to have the alligator, right? Exactly. With uh, five point harnesses by 50 cal. Okay. How do you like those uh, five point harnesses? Never had an issue. I. If, they work, they work, right? Yeah, yeah. As long as they work. <laughs> cool. What do you got? Uh, what's up on the dash there? Oh, uh, we got the S Pod SE. That's out the controller for it to run all the switches on the auxiliary stuff. Okay. And it looks like you got some uh, gauges over there for your uh, supercharger. We got the gauges for the supercharged uh, manage boost and uh, temperature of it. We don't want to get too hot. Okay. And then what do you got down here in front of the seat? What do we got? Uh, the whole Jeep was uh, actually Line X through, but on those hot days and California, you get some heat, so I had to go through the whole thing and bed rug, interior kit, keep it heat down a little bit. Nice. Well, you got a great looking interior, man. Just like the outside of the Jeep, it just gets better and better. Thank you. Jeff, so many nice things we've talked about today. It's a really great looking Jeep. What's been your favorite mod that you've done on here? Um, I think the supercharger stands out the most. Yeah. Uh, it's just fun to play with. Sure, <laughs> fun to play with with your foot, right? Exactly. Awesome. But the gas presses don't like it. Yeah. yeah, 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 especially here in California. Exactly, yeah. exactly. What, uh, what mod is next on your list? Uh, I'm hoping to get some axles. Axles are probably the next thing. That's probably my weakest link in the okay. Jeep right now. All right, I got gotcha. you. What's been uh, your stickiest situation since you've been in this Jeep? Um, I haven't really done much stickiness situation. It's more I'm trying to get it, be able to get in those sticky situations. So. There hasn't been anything really that stands out. Okay. I try to keep it on all four and all time. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> I have learned that the hard way, I think. Awesome. What, uh, what's what been your favorite trail you've been on? I've done a lot of up at Big Bear. So a lot of those trails up there, uh, I think everyone has its advantages. Yeah. I yeah. like them all, There's some, basically. Some nice trails up there in Big Bear. Gold Mountain and John Bull. They're all yeah, good places, exactly. right? Exactly. Cool. What trail's on your bucket list? Uh, I want to shoot the Rubicon. Yeah. That's my one I want to do, but that's... Up north, uh, got to plan that one out. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got to make sure that uh, you're ready for that one. I'm looking exactly. forward to doing it later this year, I hope. So, awesome. Well, brother, thank you so much for bringing Reptilicon out and letting us take a look at it. It's a beautiful Jeep, uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing, uh, seeing you out on the trail soon, man. Thanks for Perfect. coming out today, brother. Thank you. Awesome. Hey guys, I hope you've really enjoyed today's episode of Rig Walkarounds. This is one amazing Jeep that we have really enjoyed taking a look at. Hey, if you haven't been over to our website, make sure you go check it out at thetrailrecon.net. And if you're visiting the channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the Trail Recon team. And until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.